in 2010 when my husband Monty took a trip over to Zambia and he spent 10 days there with other leaders from our local church hosting trainings and community outreaches and he came back after those 10 days and he shared with me that he felt like he had left a piece of himself in the continent of Africa and that a seed had been planted um, and he felt called to come back we had our first service of Numa Life Church at a conference center here. And then probably after maybe a year, we transitioned into a school hall, a primary school hall here locally. And then after that, we moved into uh, the movie theater at a local mall at Cavendish Square during COVID. And most recently, we got our new location, our new venue at 11 Warwick Street. And so, as we've journeyed here in the city of Cape Town, the vision and the mission and the goal for Numa Life Church was for it to be a place that not only reconciled people to God, but would reconcile people to each other. So our goal for Numa Life Church, the picture that we have for our community is that it would be a place where people from different countries even, different cultures, different racial backgrounds, just different backgrounds in general, would not only come together on a Sunday morning, but they would build relationships that would be reflected throughout the week. That they would actually be a family and be a community and support each other. And not only support each other, but value and place honor and dignity on each other, even within all of our differences. And so that's the story of Numa Life Church. That is our birth story. The scripture says that the world would know us by how we love each other. This is a part of the journey of us intentionally learning how to love each other. We get to serve as a, as a picture, as a model, uh, not only for our community, but, but for our city and invite people into this. Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining us this morning for our online gathering. It's a pretty special day around here at New Life Church. Do you know what it is? I'm gonna give you two guesses. Okay, no, never mind. It is our seventh birthday, guys. New Life Church is seven years old today. So I need you to do me a favor, okay? If you've been watching us for a while, if it's your first time watching us, Send us a greeting in the chat. Send us some birthday cake or a, one of those noisemaker emojis and just say happy birthday, Numa fam. Again, we're excited to have you guys here with us. We're going to kick it off with worship here, and I'll see you guys later. Merci, Père, pour ton amour et ta présence encore ce matin. Nous venons dans ta maison afin de chanter des cantiques, afin de t'honorer encore ce matin. Telle est l'offrande que nous venons t'offrir. Que la gloire te revienne au nom de Jésus. Amen. Hey C'est immense que tu as fait dans nos cœurs. C'est immense bonheur. Oh, 
This morning, we just want to say thank you, Lord, for this joy you've placed in our hearts. We just want to say thank you, Lord Jesus, for this grace that you give us every day, for this breath you put in our lungs, Lord. And even as we worship you and we get this honor and privilege of fellowshipping together online this morning, we ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just see our need, Lord Jesus. You would just hear our prayers. And if you've got a prayer request this morning, we would like you to post it in the comments and we would pray with you or you can send us a DM and we will pray with you.
Bonjour, bonjour à tous. Good morning, good morning everyone. Nous sommes très heureux de nous retrouver ce matin. We are so blessed to uh, be again together here. C'est pour la gloire de notre Dieu. It is for the glory of our God. Et nous ne cessons de dire merci. And we are always thankful. Au pasteur Monti pour la marque de confiance. To pastor Monti for his uh, trust. À tous les leaders. And to all the leaders. Et à toute l'église. And to the old Numa community. Je réponds au nom du pasteur Jean-Pierre. My name is Pastor Jean-Pierre. Je viens de uh, DRC Lumbashi. Uh, I'm coming from the DRC uh, Congo, Lumbashi. Je suis père de six enfants. And uh, I am the father of six children. Trois garçons et trois filles. Three boys and three girls. Je suis marié il y a 43 ans. And uh, I've been married for 43 years now. Que notre Dieu vous soit favorable. Uh, so may the Lord bless you. Alors, avant de vous parler de le message de ce matin, so before going through our message for this morning, je voudrais rappeler, I would like to remind, que le premier dimanche du mois de mars, I uh, would like to remind ourselves, like from the first Sunday of uh, this month of March, nous avons écouté un message fantastique. We heard a wonderful message qui nous a parlé de la maison which is talking about home. Comment être la, la maison pour les autres. How to be home for other people. Et la deuxième semaine and uh, in the second week on nous a parlé d'être authentique dans la maison. They spoke to us how can you be authentic où il y a la diversité in a diverse community. Mais ce matin la, this morning now, je voudrais vous parler de la responsabilité de chacun I would like to speak to you about the responsibility dans, of, dans une maison of each person in the house. Avant d'entrer de, dans le vif du sujet, before going in the deeper of our message, nous sommes dans le livre de Ruth chapitre 1er. We are going to talk about the, the book of Luke chapter uh, of Ruth chapter 1 et verset 16. Ruth chapter 1 verse 16. Dans ce verset And before reading that verse, on nous montre avant toute chose qu'il y a eu un temps de juge. We can see with the history that there was a moment of judges. Et c'est dans cette période, and in that period of judges, qu'il y a eu famine dans tous les pays. There was anger, there was no food in the country. Elimelech, and now we got this guy Elimelech, a résolu, who took a decision, de quitter Bethlehem, to leave Bethlehem, avec sa femme Naomi, with his wife Naomi, et ses deux fils, and his two children, pour aller séjourner à Moab, to go and find refuge in, in Moab where they can get food. Et lorsqu'ils sont arrivés à Moab, and when they arrive and settle there, ses deux fils se sont mariés. It happened that his two children got married. Et tous les deux parents étaient contents. And all the two parents they were happy. Mais la Bible nous montre. But the Bible says to us, après un temps, after a while, Naomi est décédée. Elimelech est décédé, pardon. Elimelech died. Et ses deux fils sont décédés. And his two children also die. Alors Naomi s'est retrouvée seule. Naomi found herself alone. Une veuve âgée. And she was a, a, a lonely, uh, this widow woman. Avec and, uh, ses deux, at the old age. Avec ses deux belles filles. With his two uh, daughters-in-law. Orpa et ainsi que Ruth. Which are called Orpa and Ruth. Et pendant un temps. And now, during that time, elle a appris que Dieu a visité Bethléem. After a while, she realized that et que God Menon, has vi et, visited Bethléem. Et que maintenant il y a des pains. And that where she came from, alors, they, elle, they were bread now. They were alors, food now. Alors, elle a now. résolu de regagner Bethléem. So she took a decision to go back to Bethléem. Ainsi, elle devait s'adresser à ses deux, à ses deux belles sœurs. So now she found herself in a position to speak to the two widows. De rentrer dans leur famille. Uh, to go back to their family of origin Ainsi que auprès de leur Dieu. and to their gods. Et lorsqu ils ont, ils ont, elles ont insisté, now, when she were insisting and speaking to them about that, the Bible dit que se sont mis tous à pleurer. And the Bible said the, the two uh, um, of your, uh, the two of her daughters in law, Mais they la, were crying. Elle a dit à mon âge. And, She said to them, même si je prenais Marie aujourd'hui, you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm older in age, and even if I can get married today, allez-vous attendre que cet enfant grandisse et qu'il vous, qu vous, qu vous prenne en mariage? You, my daughter-in-law, are you gonna wait for me to have another child so that you're gonna be able to get married to him? 
Lorsque Orpa a entendu ce message, Now, Orpa, when she heard this type of elle, a, elle a été convaincue et elle a résolu de rentrer. So she realized that there was no way for her to wait for that, and she had to go. que la Bible nous montre que Ruth restait, est restée attachée à Naomi. But the, the scripture said Ruth she decided to continue to be attached to Naomi. Maintenant nous entrons dans le verset qui est le vif du sujet. Now we going to talk about uh, what we going to see today. Now Ruth répondit. Now Ruth answered, ne me presse pas, do not press me de te laisser, do not press me to leave you and go, ni d'être loin de toi, do not allow me to go away from you, là où tu iras, wherever you go, j'irai, I will go to, là où tu demeureras, wherever you live, je vais aussi demeurer. I will also go there and live with you. Ton peuple sera mon peuple. Your people will be my people. Et ton Dieu sera ton Dieu. And your God will be my God. Ah, que Dieu bénisse quelqu'un dans cette salle. May God bless you. You are following us. Alors nous voulons d'abord expliquer ce que c'est la responsabilité. We want to first explain what is a, a responsibility. Parce que le thème que je vais vous parler ce matin, because the topic which I'm going to talk about today, c'est la responsabilité de chacun dans une famille. Is the responsibility of each person in the family. Le mot responsabilité signifie, and the word responsibility means, l'obligation qu'a une personne, the obligation that as a person, de répondre à ses actes. To uh, be responsible for his action, de le assumer, to be able to assume it, et d'accepter les conséquences, and to be able to embrace even the consequences. Alors, nous allons vous parler de deux responsabilités. Now we're going to talk about the two types of responsibilities. La responsabilité de Ruth, and here we're going to split them into one on the Ruth side, ainsi que la responsabilité de Naomi, and on the other side, the responsibility that we will learn from Naomi's side too. La responsabilité de Ruth. What was the responsibility of Ruth here? Consistait à observer attentivement la vie de cette femme qui était Naomi. She was always observing and she she was having all, the whole attention on the life of Naomi. Naomi était modèle pour le pour Ruth. Naomi was was a model for Ruth. Elle a imprimé la vie de Ruth. She really marked the life of Ruth. Voilà pourquoi pour Ruth c'est Naomi ou zéro. That's why we see here, for Ruth, it was Naomi or nothing. Elle a, elle a considéré vraiment Naomi comme son modèle. She has considered Naomi like an example and somebody that she should follow. Ça, c'était d'abord la première dimension. This is a first dimension that we see la in Ruth's statement. La deuxième dimension pour Ruth. And now, another dimension that we see on Ruth's side too. Elle a fait un choix. She was at the point of decision Allez, of elle her a, life. Elle a pris la décision. She took a decision de dire, to say this. Que là où tu seras, where you will be, je serai aussi. I will also be there. Et cette décision là, taking that type of decision, c'était devant certains obstacles. There were some obstacles that are unseen. C'était contre. It was against la décision de sa famille. A decision of her own family. Et deux. And secondly, c'était contre l'identité nationale parce qu'elle était moabite. Because she was a Moabite, it was against the identity of her own nation. Et trois. And thirdly, c'était contre sa religion idolâtre. This was also against a idolâtre religious parce uh, site. Elle croyait à la, à, à, elle croyait à plusieurs dieux. Because she was believing in uh, many gods. Donc elle était, elle était polythéiste. So they were worshiping different uh, gods. Tandis que Naomi était monothéiste. Elle But croyait, Naomi, elle... she had only one god. Voilà pourquoi cela justifie les raisons qui ont poussé réellement Ruth de prendre sa propre sa propre décision. Beside this obstacle, Ruth just take, took a decision to take that decision on her own and to follow, for, to follow Naomi. Et en dehors de ça, il y avait encore d'autres obstacles qui l'attendaient si elle allait à la même direction avec Naomi. And beside this obstacle that we have mentioned, there were some obstacles also were awaiting for her where she would go following Naomi. Et là, nous trouvons trois obstacles. And there we also see 
three obstacles. Le premier obstacle, si, Naomi, si Ruth allait avec Naomi, the first obstacle is that if Ruth decided to go with Naomi, premier obstacle est qu'en tant que veuve, elle avait moins de chances où la probabilité était minime d'être remariée. Ruth, her being a, a widow, there was less a chance for her to be remarried again. Et deuxième possibilité, et le deuxième obstacle, second obstacle, il y avait une loi juive. There was this law selon laquelle which was saying un Israélite according to the Jew, un Israélite ne peut pas se marier à un païen. A Jew could never get married to somebody who's not Jew. Et quiconque ne veut se marier à un païen, and whoever will get married to somebody who's not Jew, ou une païenne, Whoever will get somebody who is not Jew, c'était une malédiction. That was actually an abomination and, and, and a curse. Et cela nous pouvons trouver dans le livre de Deutéronome chapitre 7 et verset 3. And that we see it in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 3. Et, et le, le troisième obstacle, and then the third obstacle, les Ammonites comme les Moabites étaient considérés comme les ennemis de l'Israël. The Ammonites and the Moabites they were enemies to Israel. En d'autres termes, dire, si elle se rendait avec Naomi à, 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 à Naomi à Bethléem, eh bien, elle était considérée comme l'ennemi de l'Israël. In other words, her going to a place where they were considered as enemy, she would be considered as an enemy today. Et en tant qu'ennemi, now being in a position where they were seen as enemy, elle, était, elle devait être considérée soit comme une esclave, so the only position she could live in that place she would be considered as a slave, et soit une prostituée pour voir comment il peut survivre. Or she could survive as a, as a, 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 a prostitute to survive. Devant tous ces éléments réunis, and with all these obstacles that we have mentioned, nous trouvons que Ruth, we saw, we can see here Ruth a fait un bouleversement que nous appelons un bouleversement exemple. She did something which was very great, which is exemplary. De rompre avec son passé, to really stop with her past, pour que maintenant qu'elle commence une nouvelle vie, so that she can start a new, a new life in a new way. Et lorsque la Bible dit, lorsque Ruth, euh, Naomi a entendu cela. And now we see here, when Naomi saw that decision from Ruth. Nous sommes sur la responsabilité maintenant de Naomi. Now we, we, we're going to see on the other side, what was the response and the responsibility of Naomi toward Na what the decision of Ruth. Naomi a décidé de l'adopter comme fille et de la mettre dans sa maison. We see Naomi, she took a decision, seeing the decision of Ruth. To really accept her and to allow her to live with her in her own home. Et deuxième responsabilité. And uh, the second responsibility that en, we see uh, Naomi uh, is assuming here. En vivant avec Ruth dans sa maison. Accepting to live with Ruth in her own house. Now uh, Ruth devrait maintenant bénéficier d'une nouvelle grâce. Ruth were actually under that shadow, that, that grace of a Naomi house. C'est là où maintenant elle a vécu la réalité, en d'autres termes, c'est là où elle s'est engagée, elle a donné sa vie à Dieu pour s'engager de suivre réellement le Dieu de Naomi. And that way she really found and things unfold, how she was following the step and following the God of Naomi. Et troisième responsabilité, and the third part, third pour, responsibility, pour Naomi, that we also see in Naomi here, elle a laissé le résultat à Dieu. She really left the result which she didn't know what would happen to Ruth to God. Pendant que Ruth restait dans sa maison. She allowed Ruth to stay in her own house, but she didn't have the future of Ruth in her own hands. Alors, quelles sont les leçons que nous pouvons tirer? Now, what are the lessons that we can draw through this? Donc, nous voyons que dans l'église, il y a maintenant à peu près deux groupes. And we can see, we can assimilate these things like two type of people or two type of groups le premier groupe in the on, church or in homes. Le premier groupe, nous pouvons l'appeler les groupes de, du côté de Ruth. And the first group, we can talk about the group of people who are in a position or in a posture like Ruth. Même toi qui es là ce matin. Even you that are listening to me or following us this morning même si tu as vécu dans une société dans une famille it, it can happen that you live in in different space which is different from other people et tu vis selon la tradition 
And maybe you've been living according to your own tradition. Tu vis selon la culture. Or maybe you've been living according to the culture from where you come from. Il faut ouvrir ton cœur. This could not uh, disallow you. You must open your heart. Comme nous avons vu comment Ruth a ouvert son cœur à Naomi. We have learned here how Ruth she opened her heart to Naomi. Ce matin, j'ai dit à quiconque est venu avec des fardeaux ou des charges. I'm saying again, whoever came who was listening to me, you got any burden or any problem or anything that is disturbing you. Ne, ne vis plus dans le superficiel. Do not stay in a superficiality. Lorsque tu es dans la maison de Dieu, when you come in the house of God, tu dois te sentir libre. You must free yourself. D'ouvrir ton cœur. And open your heart. Parce que le Saint Esprit est à l'œuvre. Because the Holy Spirit is in action. Et d'ailleurs, nous signalons. And we're gonna say something here. Depuis la naissance de l'Église. Since the church has been uh, on earth, le Saint Esprit est à l'œuvre. Since the birth of church on earth, the le, Holy Spirit is the one moving le in, in churches. Le Saint Esprit est en mouvement. Is the Holy Spirit who's moving in the church? Et pendant qu'il est en mouvement, and as he's moving, il y a des limites qui sont brisées. And he's breaking the yoke and the bandage and the limits that are in people's lives. Comme Ruth avait pris la résolution de briser toutes les limites comme elle était moabite. As Ruth took a decision to stand and to not let those things were limiting her et, as Moabite to et, move. Et ce matin, si tu vis encore selon le monde où tu as des habitudes de là où tu viens, eh bien, brise ces limites et que cela au nom de Jésus. If this morning you, you still have some bandage or some boundaries or you got things that are limiting you to access to what God has called you Let's allow God to break it in the name of Jesus Le Saint Esprit brise les limites The Holy Spirit has the ability to move us beyond our limits et transforme les paradigmes and to transform the paradigm of our life nous, nous entendons par paradigme and when talking about the paradigm of our lives peut être défini comme une mentalité établie It means the paradigm here we are talking about the mentality that we have established dans une condition in, in, a, in a certain condition de la réaction de la vie de quelqu'un which the person has, uh, uh, has been living in, in, into et comme aussi un ancien com, com, comme aussi un modèle de comportement we can say again it's like a, a, a old way of living dans la situation normale de la vie which we have adopted in our life. Ça dit, lorsque nous venons au Seigneur, now when we come with those things and we come to God, nous devons apprendre à laisser cette certaine mentalité, certain comportement qu'on vivait. We do have some old ways that God can help us surrender and leave them and abandon them. Comme le cas de Ruth qui a tout abandonné et qui a ouvert son cœur. Like we are seeing here, Ruth, she, she, she really abandoned and left everything behind and she followed what her heart was moving her to. Ce matin dans cette salle, and le Saint-Esprit veut interpeller quelqu'un à, à ouvrir son cœur. He's speaking to you and me to open our heart. Lorsque tu vas ouvrir ton cœur, when you open your heart, et tu vas suivre les directives du Saint Esprit, and follow the instruction of the Spirit of God, ton cœur sera brisé, your heart will be will will, will be helped, et tu peux t'intégrer facilement dans la maison de Dieu, and it will be easy for you to integrate the house of God and benefit from the things of God. Cherche à changer même les comportements. You And even behavior can be changed. À laisser les anciennes mentalités qui te tenaient captive. Even the mentality or the old way of living which was uh, keeping us captive can also be, be abandoned. C'est ça le type, de, le type aligné à Ruth. And these are the things that we can assimilate with Ruth's life. Et nous voyons derrière maintenant la leçon que nous pouvons tirer derrière Naomi. Now we can see with what we have, we can learn also from Naomi's side as responsibility. Naomi était dans sa responsabilité était une femme modèle. Naomi was an example to Ruth's life. Comme Ruth a lu dans sa fait la lecture dans sa vie qu'il y a quelque chose qui l'a attiré. There was something in Naomi that attracted Ruth. Il faudrait que dans nos vies, nous qui sommes aussi appelés, comme Jésus est notre modèle, il faut qu'on trouve en nous quelque chose qui nous attire vers les autres. We know that Jesus is our model. We must always have something in us of Jesus that can make people to be attracted to us. Comme Jésus est notre modèle, like Jesus being our model, our example, la Bible nous montre comment Christ il est notre Seigneur. The Bible is showing us how Jesus 
is our Lord. Il est notre sauveur. He is our savior. Il est notre euh, il est notre maître divin. And is is our divine master. Et qui est en même temps indispensateur de la vie excellence. And he is the one who is shaping us to be excellent. Et plein de plein de vie qui une vie que nous appelons admirable. And he is full of life, the admirable life. Soyons des modèles, frères et sœurs. And he is the one who can make us to be the example, brother and sister. Lorsque nous serons des modèles, and as we will be exemplary, il y a certaines personnes qui viennent, qui sont encore des bébés spirituels ou qui n'ont pas encore de maturité, qui peuvent aussi nous observer et s'approcher de nous en ouvrant leur cœur. There could be some people who were not mature than you. There could be some people that they could be less maybe uh, attracted to the things of God like you, but they can, because of your exemplary love, follow you and be able to follow God. Voilà comment, lorsque quelqu'un a changé, a brisé les limites, il a changé la mentalité, ce qui arrive. And these are the things that happen when there's transformation in our life in terms of our mentality. Le Seigneur accorde les faveurs. God is the one who gives the favor. Et parmi les faveurs, une des premières, c'est imprévisible. And in the favor that God gives to human beings, those favors, they are unseen and we cannot plan them. Si tu abandonnes tout ce que tu, ce que tu étais dans le monde, when we take a decision to abandon anything that is not of God, les pratiques païennes, the, 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 the old way which is not of God, Uh, that we were using, we're living. Et si réellement tu ouvres ton cœur, and when you take a decision to open your heart, tu vivras de la part de Dieu l'imprévisible. God is able to move you beyond what you have planned or you've seen. Ça dit le Seigneur peut accomplir dans ta vie les choses que tu n'as pas prié. It means God is able to do in your life even things that you've never prayed for. Les choses que tu n'as même pas demandé au Seigneur. The things that you've never even asked for. Mais qu'il va te récompenser parce que tu es un modèle ou tu es une modèle. But he's going to re reward you even do it in your life because of your choice to follow him. C'est comme ça que nous verrons nos maisons, nos maisons seront aussi des maisons que les autres peuvent avoir accès. And these are the things that makes our home to be attractive to others too. Et en venant dans, dans nos maisons, ils se, nous serons une bénédiction pour eux. And when we attract people toward our life, then we become a blessing to their life. Je vous donne mon exemple. I'll give you an example. Il y a quelqu'un autour de chez nous qui avait une boutique qui vendait au, à côté d'une école. Uh, where I was living, there was somebody who had a tax shop who was uh, selling stuff from, from his shop il ne savait next pas, to a school. Il ne savait pas où uh, déposer ses mal de marchandises. So this person was selling his stuff there, but there was no place where he could stock his stuff because he couldn't leave, leave them in the shop in the, in the risk of being uh, stolen. Il cherchait qui de confiance dans les quartiers il pouvait déposer ses mal de marchandises. So this person was struggling to find where he could Uh, store his stuff because there was no trustworthy people around where his shop was. Là où ses biens pouvaient se retrouver en sécurité. Where he could be uh, sleep in peace and, knew, and know that his uh, shop stuff are in safe place. Et nous, et nous ont observé comment on vivait. So this man has observed us as we were living. Et ils ont fait le choix sur nous. And they've seen that they could approach us pour venir solliciter to come and ask us les dépôts de leurs marchandises. If they could come and, and store their stock in our home. Et nous avons accepté dans notre maison. And we also open our hearts to help them sans lui demander de compte à rendre without even asking him that he have to pay or anything. Et nous avons gardé ses biens. And we say, okay, we're nous, going to keep your stuff Nous avons sacrifié home. notre salon. And that was a, a sacrifice because they have to put it in a living room. Sans l'obliger de payer. And we didn't even ask him any thanks. Et après un temps. And then we continue like that after nous, a while. Nous avons commencé à dialoguer. We, we become friends and we were uh, uh, chatting and, and nous entretenir avec la personne. We, we kept the relationship with the person. Il y a eu maintenant une confiance mutuelle. And there was this trust which was built between us and him. Et après, and then after a while, lorsque nous lui avons parlé du Seigneur, we had an opportunity to speak to him about il God. Pas, il n'a pas hésité. He, he, he didn't hesitate. Comme on lui avait ouvert la maison, As we open already our, our a, home to him, il a aussi ouvert son cœur. He also opened our heart to, to us. Et après, and after il that, il a accepté le Seigneur. He accepted the Lord. Je dis à quelqu'un. 
I'm saying to que somebody, ta maison your soit house, aussi une maison your life, pour les autres. let it be the house for other people too. Lorsque les gens viennent, ils verront notre modèle, notre manière de vivre. By being an example or living an exemplary life, plusieurs prendront la résolution de nous suivre comme Ruth a suivi Naomi. These things will attract people or open doors for people to come to us and follow us and become, we become a home for those like Naomi did for Ruth. Et ceux qui seront au milieu de nous, and then those who will be among us, le Seigneur aussi, God also, va les visiter. He's going to visit them too. Et, et plus tard, cet homme qui a entreposé ses biens dans notre maison. And now, later on, this person who were coming and put his, his, his uh, stock stuff in our home. Il était devenu diacre à l'église. He became a deacon in the church. Donc je dis à quelqu'un. So I'm saying this. Si nous sommes du côté de Naomi, being like Naomi, ouvrons nos maisons aux autres. Let us learn to open our home Ils to others. Ils trouveront grâce aux yeux de Dieu. God is going to continue unfolding things in their lives by giving them the grace. Et si nous sommes à côté de Ruth, and uh, if we look like Ruth, ouvrons nos cœurs, let us open our heart. Parlons de ce qui se trouve dans nos cœurs. Let us be able to open and speak uh, uh, honestly with what we feel in our heart. Et à ce moment-là, and in that Way, le Saint Esprit nous conduira. The Holy Spirit will lead us. Et chacun de nous jouera sa propre responsabilité. And each one of us will know how to play his role and ah. his responsibility. Alors je dis à quelqu'un ce matin. Now I'm saying to you this morning. Nous sommes dans une saison de responsabilité. We are in a season where each person must know his responsibility in home. L'église ce n'est pas un endroit d'irresponsabilité. A church is not a place where we don't know what we should do. L'église c'est un endroit ou un endroit ou une école d'acquisition de connaissances. The church is a place where we come to acquire knowledge. Ce matin tu n'as qu'à choisir. Now this morning um, you have a choice. Tu es de l'école de la responsabilité de Naomi. Are you in a school of responsibility like Naomi? Ouvre ta porte pour ton frère et pour ta sœur. Please open the door for your brother and your sister. Si tu es de l'école de la responsabilité de Ruth, if you are from the school of responsibility like Ruth, abandonne tes dieux. Leave behind the old way of living. Abandonne ta culture. Leave behind the, your, 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 your culture that you put before God. Comme tu viens de la maison de Dieu, And when you come in the house of God, le Seigneur s'occupera de toi. And he's going to take care of you as you put him first. Je déclare une saison de responsabilité. And I declare and I wish you a season where you will be uh, you know what responsibility to take. La maison de Dieu est disposée d'accueillir tout le monde. The house of God is always open to welcome everyone. Mais les hommes et les femmes responsables. But the will of God is for men and women ah. be responsible. Que notre Dieu vous bénisse abondamment May ce matin. May the Lord bless you abundantly this morning. Et que ce message soit gravé dans vos cœurs. May this message que be really uh, in your heart. Que que ce message puisse retentir dans vos cœurs. May this, this word continue to uh, flow and speak to you into your heart. Et que vous deveniez des véritables responsables dans vos maisons et dans la maison de Dieu. And let these words help you to be responsible in the house of God even in any way that you can find yourself. Que le Seigneur nous soit favorable. May the Lord bless you au nom de Jésus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Maybe you've tuned in today and there was something that you heard in the message that resonated with you. Um, and maybe you've been in relationship with God or maybe you haven't had a relationship with him yet and, yet, and he's spoken something to you today and you feel prompted to say, hey, I want to be in relationship with God. I want to pray for you this morning. God, I thank you so much um, for the person who's watching in their flat on their phone, on their laptops. I thank you for the person whose heart you've spoken to this morning. I thank you for their willingness to say yes to you, yes to relationship with you, yes to your love, and yes to a home with you. I honor you and I thank you for them in Jesus' name, amen. If that's you today and you've raised your hand and you said, yes, I want to be in relationship, there's a couple of ways that you can get connected. They'll pop up here at the bottom of the screen. You can visit our website and fill out a contact form. You can DM us on the WhatsApp number that'll pop up. Or you could even send us an email um, and someone will follow up with you. We don't want you to be alone 
in this journey. So please reach out. As I mentioned earlier, we are celebrating seven years of Numa Life Church today. And I just want to say thank you so much for your support throughout the seven years, for your generosity and your time and your resources and in your finances. And as we enter into year seven, we will continue to dream and we'll continue to partner with God in the things that he wants to do through our community. And in your giving of your time and your resources, it'll help us to do that. So thank you again for giving. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if you wanna give financially today, the banking details will pop up at the bottom of the screen. Um, and as they do, I'll pray for us. God, I thank you so much. I thank you for the opportunity to be a part of what you're doing in the city of Cape Town, in the nation of South Africa and all over the world, God. I thank you that as we give our resources, as we give our talents and of our finances, God, that you would bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, just a couple of quick announcements for the week. We will be starting up our second term of our spiritual life sessions um, during the month of April. So stay close to our social media for more details on what will be offered with those. And then secondly, I just wanna send out a big thank you to all of the parents who have dropped their kids off on a Friday and a Saturday to be a part of our youth hangouts. Um, it's been an amazing time for our children to connect with each other, to connect with the leadership team and just journey through life and what that looks like for them as teenagers. So thank you guys so much for supporting in that. And if you are the parent, the auntie, the uncle of a high schooler and you want to get them connected, send us a DM and we'll send you the details um, to be sure to, to get them in that space on a Friday night to, to grow in their relationship with God. That's all I have for you guys today. Have an amazing day further and make sure you have like a really nice lunch or take a walk or do something to celebrate with us as Numa turns seven today and we'll see you guys next week.